Hello friends, welcome to SketchUp Coding Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to export Excel into SketchUp without using any SketchUp plugins. At first, we are going to save Excel in CSV format. Then, we are going to read the CSV file from SketchUp Ruby with simple lines of coding. And then, we are going to draw polylines in SketchUp using this Excel file. So let's see how it works. This is the Excel file that I have already prepared and this is the Excel file that I got from the survey. So this is the X coordinate, this is Y coordinate and this is Z coordinate. The unit is in meters. Finally, I have imported those points from Excel to SketchUp using code. So at the end of the video, we will be able to draw this polyline from Excel. So let's get started. First of all, I have this Excel file. What I need to do is I need to save this Excel file in CSV format. So let's go to file, go to save as and I am going to save this in D drive. So let's name it as pipes PIPAS. So I have already saved it in pipes. So you have to go to the format of CSV that is comma delimited. So save it in CSV format. So press save. You want to replace it since I have already created this file so I want to replace yes. Do you want to keep using this format? Yes. Now let's see what is the CSV format. I am going to go to the place where I have saved the file. So this is in D drive. I have saved this in the name of pipes. This is in CSV format so let's open it with notepad. As you can see CSV is the file format in which the data are separated by simple commas like this and each line or each row is separated with a um, new line so as you can see the difference between the Excel and CSV the first row will be saved as first row but separating each column with a comma so this is how the CSV file is saved now let's go to the SketchUp model. Let's uh, press Ctrl A to delete this polyline. Now let's write a simple code to draw those polylines. Let's go to Window and I have already installed this Ruby code editor. If you do not have this Ruby code editor, you can also use Ruby console. It will give the same result. But for now, I'm going to use to this Ruby code editor. So as told in previous videos, these are the three default lines of coding where the SketchUp Active model is represented by M or D and the model entities are represented by E and T and the selected objects in the model is represented by SEL. So we are not going to change this default coding. We will start the coding from here. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to read the CSV file. For this, I am going to declare a array that is text array like this then to read the text from the csv i'm going to do text array equals to i o dot read lines and the file path so to get the file location i'm going to the location where i have saved the csv file so i'm going to derive so this pipes is a file that is saved as a csv so to get the location there is an easy way you can just go to this tab and just click here and you will get the location for it so just copy it by pressing ctrl c and again we'll go to sketchup go to this location inside the double brackets and just paste it over here by pressing ctrl v now to get the file name you can again go to the place where we have saved it the file name is pipes since we are saving it in csv so the file name will be pipes dot csv so i am writing here pipes dot csv so this will be the overall location path for this file and for any importing and exporting works we are going to use the io command which represents input output command so since we are going to read line by line so we are using the command read lines so let's see how the data are stored in this array First, let's get the first element of the text array. The first element will be represented by 0. 
so let's press ctrl r to run the program and it says these coordinates with br which represents the break line let's see in excel file to compare the result so the first element of this text area is represented by these three elements and with a br at the end to represent that a new line is created similarly if we press text array 1 and press ctrl r to run the program it will give the second value from the second row similarly you can get the length of the array by using dot length command let's run this program by pressing ctrl r it represents that there are 33 number of elements in this array so you can check text array 33 and run this command there is no result because since the array length is 33 it will store the data from 0 to 32 so let's press ctrl r and it will give the this result as the last data let's scroll down and you can see this is the last data so this is all about understanding so i am just commenting it now onwards so in the next step we are going to understand how to take the x coordinate y coordinates and z coordinate because these are just included in one string let's say i am going to assign a new array as coordinates now I'm going to use coordinates equals text array. Let's say I'm using the last row dot split comma. So let's run this program. Now you can see some difference over here. While doing text array 32, it will return a row that is present in the 32th element which is the last row after we did a split with a comma so what it does is it takes this text array it takes this data and separates those data which are separated by comma so a split is a command that will separate this text into array so in coordinates we will get the three data that is this is the first data this is the second and this is the third data now let's see the elements present in the coordinates co or coordinates let's see the first element let's press run you can see this is the first element of coordinates this is also an array so you can get the x coordinate by using the zeroth element similarly Let's see coordinates 1 and press run, control R and you can get the second element and similarly by taking coordinates 2 you can get the third element 796.721 but one thing you need to understand is that the number it is showing here is in string format it is not in the number format if we are going to draw a line here we need to draw it in the number format so since you can also see that the last data of these coordinate is represented by this string with a br inside it so we don't need this string variable we need to convert all this data into a number format so to do so we are going to convert into a number that is float so we can convert this by using dot to float dot to float now let's run this command by pressing ctrl r as you can see after pressing to float the string at last that is br has gone and now this will be in the number format so this is all about understanding how to get the x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate so from this what we can see is we have only extracted the x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate of the last row but since we have to import all this data so we are going to 
extract this coordinate in a loop let's assign an array of points like this then we are going to do a loop for i in we are going to start from 0 and we are going to end in the text array dot length we are going to start from the 0th row to its length minus 1 and we are going to end it first we are going to declare a array let's say it has coordinates equals to array then to get x y and z coordinate we are going to do coordinates equals to text array of ith element dot split split it with comma separator so it will split all the data that are separated by comma or in other, in other words the text array will be split into x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate but it will be in string format so to get x we are going to take coordinates of the first element but we are going to change it in float so we are going to do 2f similarly just i am copying this and pasting so for y coordinate the coordinates will be got from the second element that is in coordinates 1 similarly for z coordinate it will be got from coordinates 2 as discussed earlier then we can add these coordinates into the points array that is the points in i element will be given by x y and z then in the first iteration it will take the first row and it will separate the array into x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate in the form of array of the name coordinates then the first element of the coordinate will be x the second element will be y the third element will be z and this will be stored in the array named points so to draw the polyline we can use this command now add line where points are to be included now let's run the program by pressing ctrl r and let's zoom extend it and you can see it has drawn the polyline from those axle points here i'm not going to discuss about the units actually this is done in survey in meters i have just assumed it to be in inches just to illustrate it so while drawing also it will be imported as inches and it will draw using the units of inches so let's see if we do not have this ruby code editor if we go to ruby console does it work or not let's copy all this code by pressing ctrl c let's close this and in the model also let's press ctrl a and press delete key so if there is any element present there it will be clear let's press zoom extends now there is nothing in this model now let's go to window and ruby console now let's press ctrl v to get all those lines of code and press enter now let's press zoom extends and it will again draw the polyline so this is all about how to import the data from excel to sketchup for additional information you can see down below in the description box and if you have any inquiry feel free to leave those in the comments below and thanks for watching